Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, The Explicit Stories. My name is Dr. Joseph. We are discussing Physics 111, a topic called Projectile or Projectile Motion. Please, as you are watching this video, endeavor to subscribe, like, share and comment. Now, what is a projectile? A projectile is an object or a body launched into the atmosphere that moves under the influence of what? Gravity through a path called trajectory. Alright, trajectory. I said the projectile is an object or a body launched into the atmosphere which moves under the influence of what? Gravity. Now, the part it follows is called what? Trajectory and it is parabolic in shape. A projectile is an object launched into the atmosphere which, is, which moves under the influence of what? Gravity. Now, the part it moves is called what? Trajectory and it is parabolic in, in, in shape. Now, there are different uh, terms used in projectile motion. But before I go into that, let us analyze something. If I have a graph like this, and this is parabolic, and of course, you know that this is the x axis, and now this is y axis. Now, an angle is formed there, so you call it center. Now, you know, as you are moving like this, as it's proceeding, you have like this. So, which means here is horizontal, which is the x axis, and here is what vertical. You also have like this. So here is vertical and here is what horizontal. Now an angle is formed. I can just use broken line here. So okay, same thing is applied here. So this is the y axis and what this is the x axis. Now an angle along the horizontal axis, horizontal, an angle along the horizontal axis is actually what cos tinta. Right, while the one along the vertical axis is called what sine theta, so which means like I can say u cos theta and u sine what theta that is for the y axis and what for the x axis, x axis, that is what the y axis. Now, this part that is where you also have the range, right. It is this part, there is that part, that is where you have the range. Why this part is where you have what? The maximum height, that is H max. H max is the vertical axis, Why there is that axis is what? The range. Now, what there are different terms associated with projector. You have one, time of flight. Time of flight. What is the meaning of this term, time of flight? Time of flight means the time taken for a projected body to return back to the point from which it was what projected. I recap. I said time of flight means the time taken for a projected body to return back to the point from which it was what projected. And it is giving us it is giving us two u sine theta over what g. That is the formula. But when it is not inclined at an angle, so sine theta is not included. You say 2u over what? G. G is what? The gravity. And u means what? Initial velocity. Now, I said time of flight means the time taken for a projected object to return back from the point from which it was what? Projected. And it is given as 2u sine theta over what? G. When it is not inclined at an angle, you say it is what? 2u over what g that is for that you know also have what is called time of time to reach the maximum height time to reach the maximum height time to reach the maximum height means the time taken for a body to reach the highest point and it is given us as time to reach the maximum height it is given us u sine theta over g 
it's also equals to u over what g which means that what distinguishes time of flight from time to reach the maximum height is just what two there's two u in time of flight but there's also u in time to reach what the maximum height and number two term is what maximum maximum height and it is denoted as what capital letter what big letter h or capital letter h now what is a maximum height the maximum height of a projectile means the, the vertical distance the breather covers all right the vertical distance a projectile covers is called what the maximum height and it's given as h max as maximum height it's given as h max equals u sine squared theta over 2g that is when when it is not inclined at an angle you simply say it is what u squared sine over 2g all right the maximum height means the vertical distance that a projectile what covers take note of that now if to look for the total maximum height you say s okay you say x equals uh, maximum that is h max plus what h right don't forget that now the third term is what range now i told us initially that the range means the horizontal distance that a projector covers okay so what is the range range means the horizontal distance that a projectile covers so it is given as u squared sine 2 theta over g so please take it but when it's not inclined on an angle you know what to do now you simply say 2 u that is u squared over what g now this is time of flight this is time to read the maximum height this is maximum height and this is what range do not forget this formula okay now the resultant velocity when a body travels along the x and y axis you say it is arrow oh god for example now if i have to like this I have x and I have what y. Right? The resultant of a body traveling along the y axis and the x axis, that is the resultant velocity, it is simply equals the vy squared plus the vs squared. Right? V means the velocity. That is resultant velocity around the x and that of what y. That is for that. It's also called relative velocity. The relative velocity now, two bodies that are dimensionally uh, relative to each other, two bodies that are dimensionally relative to each other. For example, now body A and body what B. The relative velocity between two bodies that are dimensionally relative you say it is what uh v a minus what v b all right take note of that v a minus what v b now when when a body when a body a travels in relation to b you say it is v a b equals v a minus what v b when a bo when body a travels relatively to body b when body a travels relatively to body b you say this word v a b equals v a minus what v b but when the body b travels relatively to that of body a you say v a b equals minus open brackets v a minus what v b all right so please take note and that is when body a travels relatively to b you say it is written like this but when body b travels relatively to a you say is v a b equals what minus v a minus what v b so these are the formulas 
we are going to use to tackle some questions right now. The first thing you do not forget, the path a, a prototype follows is called what trajectory and it is parabolic in shape. Do not forget that. Please take note of this. At maximum heights, at maximum heights, at maximum heights, the angle, okay, the, it is usually what? Zero. At maximum height, the distance is usually what? Zero. But at maximum height, the angle is usually what? 45 degree. At maximum height, an angle is usually what? 45. And the distance of the height is usually what? Zero. Take note of that. Now, also take note of this. When a body inclines at an angle to the horizontal, the angle is usually what? 90 degree. Alright? When a body inclines, or when two body incline at an angle to the horizontal, it is usually what? 90 degree. But if an angle is inclined to the vertical, please, to get the horizontal one, it is usually 90 minus the vertical value. Don't you will solve question on that. So I believe these are the formulas you need on this topic. So we are solving questions right away. Don't forget the meaning of these terms. Time of flight, time to reach the maximum height range, maximum height. Okay, now the first one says, you are going to be writing, they said, two bodies, X and Y, okay? Two bodies, X and Y, are projected on the horizontal plane with same initial speed. Two bodies, X and Y, are projected on the horizontal plane with same initial speed. But an angle of, he said X and what? Y. But an angle of 30 degree, which means 30 degree is to X and 60 degree respectively. The ratio of X to Y is what? The ratio of X to Y, they give us option A as 1 to ratio 1. Then B, 1 to ratio 2, C, root 3 to ratio 1, D, 1 to, to ratio root what? 3. Now, horizontal, whenever you hear the word horizontal, what comes to your mind? Range. Range is what comes to your mind. A body X and Y projected along horizontal plane with the same initial velocity, but having angle of 30 and 60 to the horizontal. What is what is the ratio of the range of x and what y? This is what you are going to do. But you know that range. But you know that range is equals what? Two is equals u squared sine two theta over g. Now since we are we are we, we have two bodies here, it means this x is for this, then divided by Another ring, which is what over what g. So this is for x and this is for what y. Now, since we have established that fact, it's going to be u squared sine two theta over g. Now, I want to introduce multiplication sign, which means g will go up and this one will come down. So it becomes g over u squared sine. 2 theta. Alright, now I think this one will go out. Alright, and this one will also go out. So we are left with what? Sine 2 theta over sine 2 theta. Therefore, sine 2 theta, that is, this is, don't forget, this one is for the x axis. This one is for the x axis, which is this. So x is what? Sine 2 times 30 is what? 60. That is sine 60. Then 2 times 60 is what? Sine 120. So sine 60 is what? 0 0.8660. Then sine 120 is something as what? 0 0.8660. Year 1, year 1. So now it will be what? 1 to ratio 1. It is very, very easy. So the answer is what? A. I'll read the question again. 
Look at two bodies, X and Y, are projected on the horizontal plane with same initial velocity. That's why we've cancelled that already. But an angle of 30 and 60 respectively, which means 30 is for the X and 60 is for the Y to the horizontal. The ratio of the range of X to Y is, so bringing out two formula of range, we reciprocate the other one, so it becomes you go. This one will come down. We now we cancel out what are common there. We now have since they gave us angle, we are not canceling this one out, we are not canceling them out. We now have this, this. So, in computing your value, you now have this, this. So, the answer is actually what one to ratio what one that one is understood very, very easy. Now, question number two. Question number two. Okay, number two. And, okay, and, uh, okay, let me add where I put it now. Okay. His son walks walks one kilometer to the west. His son walks one kilometer to the west, and the father walks. Four kilometers. Okay, let me use five kilometers to the west and father walks four kilometers to four kilometers to the south. Find the relative velocity. Find the relative velocity of the sun with respect to the father with respect to the father don't forget you apply the Pythagoras word theorem look at sun walks okay west this west like this five kilometers okay find the relative velocity of the sun with respect to the father as well as their direction. Please take note, direction. So we are not for the direction and relative word, velocity. Now, we said five kilometers to the west, that is then four kilometers towards the south. Four kilometers. So here you see, so R squared is equals um, okay, that is 5 squared plus 4 squared, so you say that is 25, 25 plus 16, so 25 plus 16 is, uh, is it? 31 or 41 okay i don't want us to have okay 25 plus this that's what i'm trying to avoid i'm trying to avoid something i don't want us to have a decimal here i don't want decimal 25 have, okay 16 16 25 25 plus okay you are going to be having okay this is 41 now what is not the square root of 41 that's the issue i don't want us to have something of that nature okay 4 plus Okay, 
So let me say 25 plus 4. See. Alright, so I don't my calculator is not going to give me decimal. It's not going to give me decimal. Cut roots. Where is it? Root 41 equals it's giving me root 41. That is that is the issue I'm having here. Okay, 25. Okay, let me please I can change it for. Okay, so let me let me see if I can solve with this very one. Okay, so they said uh, I should calculate for the okay this is the relative velocity of the son with respect to that of the father but to calculate don't forget this is the y-axis and this is what the x-axis now to calculate direction it is simply tan the inverse of tan theta the inverse of what tan theta which is usually y which is 4 over what 5 so i'll have 4 divided by 5, 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.8. So the answer is what? 0 0.8. Now, the to calculate for the direction of, um, of uh, forces or bodies traveling towards different or uh, same direction, you do the tan inverse. The tan inverse of this is simply what? You say, you say Vy what vx which means vy is what 4 and vx is what 5 and that gives us what 0 0.8 all right so that is for that don't forget now whatever you get here that becomes what their relative velocity that is whatever you are whatever you're able to get it becomes what relative velocity and this is what the direction take note of that now that on that question if a cyclist, a motorcyclist of, okay, if, if a rider rides, if a rider A rides through a distance of a distance of 20 meters in two seconds over rider B, which rides through a distance, which rides through a distance of 10 meters in in 5 seconds in 5 seconds calculate calculate a the relative velocity of a to b the relative velocity of a to b and b relative velocity of b to a don't forget what I gave you that relative velocity of A to B is usually VAB equals what? VA minus what? VB. Now, but, but the A, don't forget velocity is equals what? Distance over what? Time. To get velocity, the distance now is what? 20. And the time is what? 2. So here you have what? 10 meter per second. That's what? body a so v a b is equals to 10 right and also body b which he rides through a distance of what 10 meter in five seconds which means that 10 divided by 5 is what 2 so minus what 2 and now that v a b is equals to what 8 meter per second that is a what a but relay a uh, relative velocity of b to a i give it to you as v a b is equals minus v s minus a minus v what b 
right? Which means that VAB is equals minus VA is what? 10. VB is 8. And now the a, VAB is equals this minus this is what? 2. Which means that VAB is equals what? Minus 2 meter per second. So which means that the, the relative velocity of A to B is 8 meter per second. But the relative velocity of B to A is what? Minus 2 meter per second. That is for that. Now look at another question. I think you are going to write this. So a body is projected from the ground. A body is projected, excuse me. All right, a body is projected from the ground at an angle of um, a body is projected from the ground at an angle of tinta at an angle of what tinta to the horizontal with velocity of 30 meter per second 30 meter per second it reaches maximum height of 11.25 meter. Calculates A, the value of tinta, B, time to strike the ground, C, time to reach the maximum height, and uh, D, to third of the square of the range. I repeat the question. A body is projected from the ground. A body is projected from the ground. At an angle of what? Tinta to the horizontal with a velocity of 30 meter per second, which means that u is what? 30 meter per what? Second. 30 meter per second. It reaches maximum height, which means that h max is equals to what? 11.25 meet meters. Calculate the value of tinta. Now, you know that I gave us that h max is equals what? u squared sine squared tinta over what? 2g, right? Now, they said the maximum height now is what? 11.25, which means that I have 11.25 equals what? U, the u was not given. Okay, was it? Okay, 30, yes. 30, so it is what? 30 raised power 2 times sine tinta or squared over you know g is what 10 which means 20 which means that 2 times 10 is what 20 so you now have okay this times this 11.25 times 20 11.25 times 20 equals i have 225 equals 900 sine Divide both sides by what? 900. So this will go into this. So I have that sine equals 225 divided by 900. 225 divided by 900 equals 2.5. 2.5. Now what is not the square root? You know it's having to say it's crossing. So sine center is equals 2.5. Oh God, I'm going to be, I'm not, I'm not have the value here. God. Oh, root 2.5 equals, yeah, thank God, you gave me this one. Root 2.5, the square root of 2.5 is 1.5, it's, is that the final answer? No. To get the value of the, t, of theta, you have to look for the sine inverse of this sine inverse of this, which means going to be sine inverse of 1.58, and that will give me so shift sine 1.58 equals okay, shift sine 1.58. Why am I not having my value now? Okay.
think hope what I did here is correct though, because this should be 900 now. 30 times 30. 900. So 225. 225 divided by 90. Divided by 900. So it equals 0. Ah. 225 divided by 900. 0. 0.25. Wait. 0. 0.25. 0. 0.25. So the square root of 0. 0.25. Square root of 0. 0.25 equals. 0 0.15 good i'll get the value now so you say the sine inverse of 0 0.5 is going to be shift sine 0 0.5 30 so the answer is what 30 which means 30 degree all right that is for that so we've been able to look for the val the value of what tinta now that is the first one that we will be asked to look for that the value of what theta, which is what the angle 30 and say time to strike the ground which means time of flight now give us time of flight to be what 2u sine theta over what g 2u sine theta over what g now i believe this one is clear so c now equals 2 times 30 right okay it was given from the question 2 times 30 times sine 30 because we, we've got now our theta to be 30 already so over 10 so 1 3 so i have t equals 0. 2 times 3 6 6 times sine 30 sine 30 equals 0. 0.5 so 0. 0.5 times 6, 0. 0.5 0 0.5 times 6 equals 3. So 0 0.5. So time of flight is equals to 3 seconds. That is time to strike the ground. But they said we should also calculate the time to reach the maximum height. Now I told us that the time to reach the maximum height. The time of flight is actually denoted as small letter T. Alright, small letter T. Don't forget that. The big letter T is for what? Maximum, time to reach the maximum height. I give us U sine theta over what? G. U is 30. Sine 30, which is 0 0.5 over 10. Okay. Then, then, then 3. 3 times 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 3. 1.5 so time to reach the maximum height is what 1.5 second 1.5 what second take note of that so this value of tinta time to reach the maximum height no time of flight then time to reach the maximum height which is this one is c this one is b and this one is what a now d it said to third, to third of the square of the range, to third of the square of what? The range. So I give us that range is equals what? U squared sine 2 theta over what? G. Range is equals what? This 900. You know I got my 900, right? You know uh, U is what? 30. So 30 is this part is what? 900 times the angle is what 30 so 2 times 30 is what 60 and since 60 is 0 0.8660 divided by what 10 all right 0 0 and have that range is equals 90 times 0 0.8660 all right so 90 times 0 0.8660 equals so range is equals what 77.94 meter is that what they actually is that what they ask us to look for no they said to third of the square of the range which means we have to square this one then we'll do the that is two over three 
which means that seven seventy seven point nine four times seventy seven point nine four we we'll get Jesus. R is equals what six zero seven four points six four three six. But they said the to take to take of the square of the range, which means uh which means you now have two over three times this sixty seven four point six four three six times two equals divided by three the answer is what four zero four nine point seven six so that is a value so i think at this point we'll call it a there are many minutes now it's just a uh, okay 35 minutes i don't know if we should solve one more question i don't know if we should solve one more question okay let me solve this now give us one as a summit okay let's write let's write a missile that is m i s s i l a missile is projected with a velocity of 250 meter per second look, look how i'm sweating a missile is what projected with a velocity of 20, 250 meter per second at an angle of what theta to the vertical the velocity given is what 250 meter per second at an angle of what? The angle is not given to the vertical. If the total time of flight is, if the total time is big letter C, is what? 25 seconds. The value of theta is, don't forget that same time of flight is usually what? U sine theta over what? G. So, Total time of flight is what? 25 equals U is what? 250. We are looking for sine. We are looking for theta. Sine theta over what? 10. Alright? So you say cross multiply. This times this is what? 250 equals what? 250. Yeah. Yes, now 25 times 10 is not 250. 25 times 10. It's 250 now. So you have 250 sine theta. Divide both sides by 250. 250. So sine theta now is equal to 1. But that is not the final answer. We have to look for the, the sine inverse of what? 1. So shift sine 1. Equals what? 90. So theta is equals 90. Let me go through it again. Time to reach the max. Okay. What is the question again? If the total time of flight. Okay, total time of flight. Oh, 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 oh. It's too young now. When they said, if I thought we were trying to maximum height. So that time of flight, as much as C now, oh God, mathematics. So this is 25 over 1, 2 times this. And now I get to be 500, 500, so, okay. I think it's better I use this again because right now I'm confused. So this is 25 over 1 equals what? 500 times sine theta over what? 10. Alright? So 10 year 1, 10 to 50 is what? 5. So I have that 25 equals what? 50 sine theta. If the double size are what? 50, 50. So sine theta is equals 25 divided by 50. 
25 divided by 50 or 0 0.5, 0 0.5. The sine inverse of 0 0.5 cos 30. So that is sine inverse, that is sine inverse of 0 0.5. I have it to be what? 30 degree. Is that the final answer? No, they said, let me repeat the question. A missile is projected with a velocity of 250 meter per second at an angle to the vertical. Don't forget to the vertical. If it, it okay, if the third term of light is 25, the value of theta is, please, whenever you hear the word to the vertical, that will lead you to what is called the horizontal. Whenever you hear the word to the vertical, to get the final angle, the angle, I think I told us before, the angle reclined at the horizontal region is usually what, 90 degree. So you, you subtract it from what you have gotten, which means 90 degree minus 30 degree. And that will give us what, 60 degree. That is our final answer. Now this, please, oh, excuse me, let me put my face. Now, assignments, the assignments, right, is, right, is, a stone is projected. A stone is projected upward at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal from the top of a tower of height 100 meter. A stone is projected upwards at an angle of 30 to the horizontal from the top of a tower of height zero of height 100 meter. And it hits the ground at a point Q. At a point what? Q. If the initial velocity of projection is 100 meter per second, calculate. Um, let me repeat the question. A stone is projected upwards at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal from the top of a tower of height 100 meter. And it hits the ground at a point of what? Q. If the initial velocity is 100 meter per second, calculate one, the maximum height, calculate the maximum height, B, time to reach this height. Now this height means what? Time to reach the maximum height. C, time of flight, time of flight, D, the result distance from the foot of the tower. You calculate the maximum height, time to reach the maximum height, time of flight and the horizontal distance. Of course, whenever you hear the word horizontal distance, where will your mind take you to? It is what? Range. Thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Please subscribe.